What's up, what's going on people of YouTube? I'm here to give you guys an unboxing of the Geared Up Rig 500 Pro gaming headset by Plantronics. This is a universal gaming headset made to be used for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And as you can see, this bad boy runs around $80, anywhere between $80 to $100. I've seen it as low as actually $30. Now before we dig into the box, I'm going to go ahead and read the outside of the box for you guys, some of the specifications, some of the advertisement. So on the right side of the box it reads, Maximum Comfort, Replaceable Dual Material Ear Cushions Block Ambient Noise and Provide Long Term Comfort. Acoustic Performance, Isolated Acoustic Chamber is tuned for high resolution audio and low distortion. Exofit Frame, Ultra Light Rigid Exoskeleton Wraps Around Ear for fit and stability. On the back it reads, Gear Up Rig 500 Pro HC, Tournament Headset Leader. When professional teams and players step on stage, they expect nothing less than competition grade audio. Esport leagues around the world rely on quality and performance delivered by Plantronics. Our Pro Series headsets brings unforgettable experiences to players and audiences around the world. They also have an image of the headset on back of the box breaking down eight of the key features on this headset and it reads 1. Ultra lightweight frame 2. Self adjusting headband 3. Dual material ear cushions 4. Isolating ear cups 5. Low distortion 50mm drives 6. Flexible mic boom detaches 7. Noise counseling mic flips up to mute and 8. Game Audio Dial works with Xbox One and PS4. Then lastly, looking at the box from the front, on the left side of the box, it has some detailed uh, you know, specifications for the microphone, headphones, and contents inside the box, and your warranty, and things of that nature. What do I actually think about the headset after using it after for a while? First and foremost, I gotta go out and say that these gotta be some of the most comfortable gaming headsets I've used in my life. Um, the headband the strap goes around your head and it just feels great. It can be adjusted on the fly. The ear cup can be moved from uh, three different positions. So it's kind of different from your traditional headsets where you slide it, you know, to adjust it. And you know, both headsets has, you know, its ups and downs. With these, I honestly love the design. Um, I can see myself using these a lot. I love the design of the mic. I like how when you flip the mic up, it mutes all by itself. And I also love that these type of headsets that can be, um, the wire that goes into the headset can be unplugged so you can replace it if it gets a shortage. Even though when trying to find a replacement wire, I couldn't find one, I had no success. And then jump back into adjusting the ear cups. Um, I like how they, you know, click in and click out. It kind of like reminds me of like the little watch pins that hold the strap together onto a watch. It's kind of like something like that. I just overall love the attention to detail, you know, the thought that went into a lot of things, um, especially with the volume uh, knob on the actual plug-in part. Um, that's, that's a pretty cool thought, you know, so you have to worry about fiddling on a wire to find a, you know, volume knob is just right there, especially if you have it plugged up to the controller on the Xbox One or PS4. As far as sound, sound is good, you know, um, it's a mixture of bass, it's a mixture of, you know, mids, highs, lows, all that, it covers all the range pretty well. And speaking of audio, I forgot to mention that it comes with a digital copy of Adobe Atmos. These some nice looking headsets, so what's the, what's the downside, what's the drawback? Um, these bad boys did get a shortage, that little volume knob I said is pretty good, um, it did get a shortage inside that, so... You know, I got to kind of fiddle around with that to get it to work inside the uh, left headset. But other than that, if it wasn't for that issue, these would be amazing. But, you know, given the fact that I got to find another wire to, you know, fix that issue, you know, I got to knock these down to an overall score of a B. But as far as sound quality, that gets an A minus. As far as um, design looks, that gets an uh, A. As far as weight and comfort, that gets an A plus. As far as the microphone, clarity sound as far as people hearing me and you know hearing everything i'm saying picking up my audio clear that gets an a and that's gonna do it for the rig 500 pro hc uh gaming headsets by Plectronics. thank you guys for watching thumbs up if you like this video or if it helped you in any kind of way shape form or fashion and subscribe if you want more catch you on the next video